All right. Barry didn't make it. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous now. They put the battery right in the same damn room you put it in. Was that... Did you really have to do that? Oh, no! You must be kidding! After we've come all the way here! Ladies first! Go first, Jill! But, Chris... Give me a chance to play nice guy. Okay! I leave it up to you. See you again at the heliport. Give me a chance to play nice guy. What the hell does that mean? You mean play hero? Is that what the hell you mean? Because, Chris, you've been kind of useless this whole time. Put this thing here, and it shoots that thing into the sky there, and then that thing comes down, and we fly away in that thing. See, there we go. That was Resident Evil's Jill walkthrough, or playthrough. Now, that's a little bit... There are multiple different endings to this game, depending on which character you play as Chris or Jill, also depending on what things you do. Now, I didn't do the best ending there, but I think I would have had to have done that got the best ending there was to have allowed Barry to come back with another rope and that would have changed the outcome, so Barry would have survived. Also, the, um... The... Barry would have come back and knocked Wesker out. Wesker would have activated self-destruct, and then the tyrant would have attacked us when we were on the helipad. Now, that didn't happen here, so the entire place didn't blow up. And the tyrant survived, because damn sure it didn't die when we gunned it down in the lab. So it kind of brings up an interesting thing to think about when it comes to sequels for a game like this. How do you create a sort of canon storyline where a lot of the people playing the game say, most people, if they beat a game, they only beat it once. They're only going to play through this game once. They're only going to see one ending. Now a person goes and plays through the game. They say, see this ending here. Where 
Well, Chris and Jill get out. Chris could possibly have not gotten out. I made sure to get him out, but it didn't have to happen. Let's say only Jill gets out, which is how I originally played the game back when I was a kid, the first time. Only Jill gets out, so then you go and you go to create the sequel, Resident Evil 2. Well, how do you... How do you go and make a sequel when every different player has a chance of seeing some different ending to it? Having a different experience? Storylines not matching up. Well, what they did was they went and they kind of created this sort of... Uh, the sequel didn't have a very strong connection to the original game. Didn't have any of the same characters. Claire's Chris's younger sister... But, I mean, he could very well have died up here, and then you don't have... Um, and she comes into town looking for him, not knowing how he died or any of that kind of crap. So it sort of worked as far as Resident Evil 2 goes. Resident Evil 3 comes around, though, and Jill has to be alive. Things change. Resident Evil Code Veronica has, happens. Chris has to be alive for that point. Eventually, they just sort of settled on some canon version of the story, and I'm, I'm not even sure what that is. Does that really even matter? I don't know. Now, this whole thing with having the two different characters with slightly different playthroughs, depending on which one you go, even though um, the, the Jill one is clearly the easy mode, it was carried forward into Resident Evil 2, and I think it was done much better in 2, because they had the different versions. I mean, more or less, the game still played through the same, depending on which one you were, but then they had the A and B campaigns, and that was pretty awesome. Resident Evil 3 did away with the whole two-character thing altogether. Uh, Code Veronica did it also. Got it did away with it. Zero, though, I think, was the sort of ultimate kind of version of that where you had the different characters and you could swap back and forth between the two for puzzles and all that kind of shit. Well, that'd be the end of the game. I'm going to credits are rolling. So, if you like what I did here, I mean, the second half of this LP that I completed six years after the first half. <laughs> I got a bunch of other things I'm going to check out. Biohazard, I mean, Resident Evil. The tyrant survived. Of course, this is a non-canon ending, so this doesn't matter. Three hours? It took me three hours? 